What major innovation has CL unleashed this year? Say hello to the CLNRA, a brand new sodium ion battery that could change the EV game entirely. This isn't just a small step in battery tech, it's a leap. And leading the charge is none other than CL, the global powerhouse in EV battery manufacturing. So what's the big deal with CL sodium ion breakthrough? For years, experts have hinted that sodium ion batteries might be the safer, more stable successor to lithium ion, the current industry standard for EVs. Unlike lithium ion batteries, which can become fire hazards when damaged, sodium ion batteries offer a much more secure energy storage option. That means more peace of mind for drivers and a major selling point for automakers. CL's chief technology officer for EV Business, Guan, didn't hold back in a recent reveal. Sodium ion battery technology is no longer just a lab experiment, he said. We've cracked the code on energy density, cost efficiency, and eco-friendliness, and we're ready for the next phase, mass adoption. That bold statement set the stage for CL's next, Gen Sodium, ion tech to go mainstream. But before we dive deeper, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you never miss an update from us. CL insiders are calling this tech a game changer, but make no mistake, getting to this point wasn't easy. Several hurdles had to be cleared before the Nextra battery could make its debut. Let's break down what those challenges were and how 2L powered through them. Those in the EV manufacturing industry would tell you that. Lithium-ion batteries have been the industry's cornerstone since they gained acceptance. This is because lithium to Ion batteries have an impressive energy density. This high energy storage capability per unit volume makes these batteries ideal for applications like electric vehicles and high performance electronics. On the other hand, sodium ion batteries with their inherently lower energy density were not favorites to be used as AV batteries even when the price of lithium ion batteries However, fast forward to 2025 and everything that posed a challenge to the adoption of sodium ion batteries over. Lithium ion batteries has changed and CL made sure they took advantage of that. At SuperTech Day 2025, CL unveiled its new Nextra battery platform. The platform offers a major leap in sodium ion battery development and promises to tackle several areas where lithium ion batteries couldn't fill the gap. Now that we put that aside, let's consider five facts about CL sodium ion batteries, which could lead to the displacement of lithium ion batteries and even disrupt the entire EV industry. The first production under the Nexra brand will be a new sodium ion battery with an energy density of 175 WG kg. This figure is nearly equivalent to the lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries popularly used in electric vehicles and even surpasses some of battery energy densities like those in the FEC. BMW i3 and the GE Galaxy E5. On the flip side, this energy density is enough to deliver 124 miles 200 kilometers of electric range in a PGV and up to 3110 miles 500 kilometers in a pure EV. Those estimates come from China's testing cycle, which is usually pretty generous with range. But those are decent numbers for city cars and micro EVs gaining popularity around the world. Even though lithium ion batteries have stood out because of the energy densities they offer, sodium ion batteries have come to take that spot. In the future, we could even see higher energy densities from sodium ion batteries. You'll agree that lithium ion batteries could become obsolete if this happens. Usually, energy density indicates how much energy a battery can store per unit of weight. A higher energy density means the battery can store more energy without adding much weight. This is important if a car is to achieve a long driving range. For instance, the Tesla Model S long range model. Equipped with a 100 kilowatt hours battery, achieves a range of 405 miles, 830 kilometers. Given this efficiency, a vehicle with a 175WHG battery could potentially achieve a range exceeding 310 miles if we assume similar energy consumption rates. However, we can understand where CL is coming from. They don't want customers to have overly high expectations of the batteries. With time, we expect further announcements on this battery specifications. CL has emphasized that their new sodium ion batteries possess 10,000 life cycles. If this is true, then it's expected that this battery would lead to a breakthrough in battery longevity and reliability. We say this because most current EV batteries last around 1,000 to 2,000 full cycles, which when calculated translates to 8 to 15 years of use. Now, a battery with 10,000 full cycles and 500 kilometers per cycle offers up to 5 million kilometers, 3.1 million miles of driving over its lifetime. 
Do you know what that means? The battery could outlive the vehicle it is contained in and even multiple other vehicles. It would also reduce long-term ownership costs and environmental impact. On the commercial side, it could mean that high mileage services like taxis, delivery vehicles, and buses would benefit enormously. In Adishin, there would be a lower total cost of ownership due to minimal battery replacement needs. If there's one aspect that is mouthwatering about CL's new sodium ion batteries, then it is the safety they guarantee. The company says its sodium ion battery is much safer because of the way sodium behaves. The battery does not easily form spikes or what are called dendrites inside the battery, and it's less likely to overheat or catch fire. Cull explained that they tested the battery far more strictly than the usual safety rules require. They even pierced and drilled the fully charged battery, and it barely gave off any smoke, no fire, no explosion. Even cutting the battery with a saw didn't cause it to burn. The reason it's so safe is because of the electrolytes contained in the battery, which act like a protective barrier. They help stop heat from building up and block the formation of dangerous internal structures. The company calls it a kind of built-in firewall, and they made it clear that keeping the battery safe is their top priority. With this CL sodium battery rollout, we've seen potential in what it has to offer. However, how would lithium batteries fare in the EV market? Let's consider just two areas in which lithium-ion batteries could be greatly impacted. Another critical factor that could accelerate the shift towards sodium-ion batteries is their environmental advantage. Unlike lithium, ion batteries, which rely on scarce and geopolitically sensitive materials like lithium and cobalt sodium, ion batteries use abundant and widely available sodium. This reduces dependency on mining, heavy supply chains, and minimizes the ecological footprint of battery production. Moreover, sodium ion batteries are easier to recycle. The materials used are less toxic and the recycling process is more straightforward compared to lithium-ion batteries which require complex and costly methods to recover valuable metals. This aligns with the growing global push for sustainable and circular economies, making sodium-ion batteries an attractive option for policymakers and environmentally conscious consumers. But what about Saladium ion batteries perform exceptionally well in both high and low temperatures, a common pain point for m pain point 4. Lithium ion batteries which often suffer from reduced efficiency and lifespan in extreme weather. If true, this would make sodium ion batteries a more reliable choice for electric vehicles in regions with harsh climates, further expanding their of course, no technology is without its challenges. While sodium-ion batteries excel in safety, longevity, and sustainability, they still lag behind. Lithium-ion in terms of charging speed, fast charging infrastructure has been a major selling point for lithium-ion EVs and sodium ion batteries will need to catch up to meet consumer expectations for quick recharge times. CL has hinted at ongoing research to improve charging speeds, suggesting that future iterations of their sodium ion batteries could close this gap. If they succeed, it would remove one of the last remaining hurdles to widespread adoption. The big question now is how soon can we expect to see CL sodium ion batteries in commercial EVs? The company has announced plans for mass production within the next two years, with several automakers already expressing interest in integrating the technology into their upcoming models. If all goes according to plan, we could witness a significant shift in the EV landscape by the end of the decade. In conclusion, CL Sodium Ion Battery represents a monumental leap forward, not just for electric vehicles but for energy storage as a whole. With superior safety, longer lifespan, lower costs, and environmental benefits, it has the potential to dethrone lithium-ion as the dominant battery technology. What do you think? Will sodium-ion batteries become the new standard, or will lithium-ion find a way to stay ahead? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the future of energy and transportation. The first area is the aspect of market share loss. If sodium ion batteries prove to be reliable, automakers may shift toward sodium ion to reduce costs. As you would expect, this would lead to a decline in lithium ion battery demand as automakers might use sodium ion batteries in lower cost EVs to make those cars more affordable for people. The second area could be the aspect of the manufacturing shift. Instead of producing more lithium-ion batteries, battery manufacturers might expand to support sodium-ion battery production. This could divert capital investment away from further lithium-ion innovation, leading to stagnation in its development. Would the CL sodium battery suffice? It seems that all areas of concern have been dealt with by CL, especially in the areas of battery life cycle and energy density. Let's have your thoughts in the comment section.